girl is born in a Muslim family. Why she cannot marry a non-Muslim guy and still follow Islam? Why can't a girl who is born in a Muslim family marry a non-Muslim man and yet follow Islam? The reason is because it goes against the teaching of our Creator Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two twenty one, that do not marry a mushrik until he believes. Do not marry an idol worshipper. Do not marry a non-believer until he believes. Even a believer, even if he is a slave man, even if he is a bondsman, he is far better than a non-believer, than a mushrik man, than a non-Muslim man. Even if he allows you, means even if he may be the most handsome man in the world, he may be the richest man. And if he is a non-Muslim, a Muslim man who may be dark, who may be ugly, who may be a slave, is far superior. Similarly, the verse continues that for a man, he should not marry an unbelieving woman until she believes. A believing woman who is a slave woman is far superior than an unbelieving woman, even if she allows you. The logical reason, sister, is that in a car or in a vehicle, if one tire is of a bicycle and the other tire is of a truck, so will the vehicle run? But naturally, no. All the four tires should be equal. And furthermore, you ask the question that can she be a good Muslim by marrying a non-Muslim? The reason is that in Islam, we want our spouse, our life partner, also to go to Jannah. Now she has found the way to Jannah. She has found the way to paradise. That her paradise is in following Islam. She should follow the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Now imagine when she knows that she is going to go to paradise, and a husband who is doing idol worship, who doesn't believe in Islam. Who is going to go to hell? This life, sister, is a small portion as compared to next life. This life, maybe you stay with us, been for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, how long? 60 years. The next life is eternal life. That means she is selfish. A good Muslim or a good Muslima, a good Muslim man or woman would also want that their spouse, the husband or wife, should also go to Jannah. So that is the reason it's important that both the husband and wife are Muslim.